that the Pride was happening in June. You know, big deal, most said, but in reality we knew that it would be even harder than usual to encourage students to attend, as it is still exam period. It is, after all, already hard enough to increase participation during normal periods of time, let alone during our exams. Um, but in the end, we chose to appeal to other students and youth organizations to join us today. <laughs> Um, yeah, we chose to appeal to other youth and student organizations to join us today. It's probably the first time that KSU, the University Students Council, was attending a Pride event and uh, publicly supporting LGBT rights. And being the, <laughs> being the oldest uh, national student union in Europe, we're really happy and proud that KSU decided to support us today together with another youth organization, KNZ, for the National um, Council for Youth in Malta. So it's great that uh, other students' organizations, not just LGBT-focused ones, are attending Pride today. Um, in the end, this challenge taught us a lesson, as most challenges do. It taught us that joining forces can make for a much stronger statement. It taught us that even when an underlying goal is largely similar, it is good to make some points of difference shine. As we are, we are bound to focus on students and youth and issues related to them. As a university-based organization, we are bound to focus on issues in education, on raising awareness of the youth peers, and trying to make students feel comfortable at university. In a recent survey published by the European Union Agency for Fundamental Rights, it was found that of 18 to 24 year olds in Malta, a great percentage, around 97 percent, felt the need to be selectively open or high their LGBT identity at school. It clearly indicates that many young people are scared to be out because of the repercussions this might involve, because of the rampant homophobia and transphobia still found in our multi educational institutions and in our schools. We should aim at eradicating homophobia and transphobia from the places which you frequent so that our future politicians, policy makers, doctors, educators, parents can be more accepting, more loving, and more inclusive so that one day we may live in a society in which one does not have to live with the same fears that many are surrounded by today. Homophobia in education is a fact that needs to be challenged and of course it cannot be challenged on our own. It is only through the help of straight alleys and organizations where we can truly promote an idea of unity and diversity. So it has been great to participate in this year's Pride where this is possible, where we have united with other organizations, with other people, despite our differences, when we took a stand. Um, we had an opportunity to be ourselves, which is what Pride is about. So thanks and see you next year. Thank you.